Look, this is a very basic hack, but it's helping me a lot. That's why I'm publishing it, but it's super basic. <laughs> You've been warned. Okay, let me show you. So the first thing you have to do is make sure that you have the web view uh, turned on. So in this second account here, I don't have it. So you have to go to the uh, core plugins all the way down here, web view. This is kind of uh, uh, an Obsidian browser. And now every time you open uh, a new node, you have this web view. I've talked ab about this in past videos. This is a browser. So if I type here, campus.com, that's a, 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 a browser, basic browser. So what I did, let's close this here, was of course, uh, create a Google Calendar here, uh, open a Google Calendar here, Google Calendar. You need to sign in with your account. And now you have your calendar here, but there is more uh, because I use the dark theme even in my main account. Let's change this here to the dark theme. Okay, a little better. So now I, we can make this a bookmark. This is one thing I did, Google Calendar. Uh, in case I need to uh, open this because we can from here uh, click and open uh, the Google Calendar. But what I also did was pin this. So pin this. And we have to change one small detail here if you are using the homepage plugin. Because there is one setting here. Okay. Keep open notes. Keep open notes. If you are using the homepage, there's a video about the, the homepage here if you want to learn more. So these are settings to keep the notes open because you can change this to replace all open notes, replace all open notes. I want to keep both of them, the homepage and also Google Calendar. Now we can close uh, Obsidian. I'm going to open it again. And there it is the homepage, which is opened by that plugin, the homepage and Google Calendar. I told you it was very basic, but the thing is, I'm not happy with any of the plugins, the calendar plugins I've tried so far. And I, I always work with my calendar open. So I was going back and forth to Google Calendar, something like this. I would be working on a note and go to Google Calendar and come back to a note. And here it's much easier if I'm working on a note, I can click to take a look at Google Calendar and go back to a note. Most of the time, I'm just checking something uh, on my calendar. So this is working very well for me. I still would like and would prefer a solution connecting both. And, and when I find the one I'm happy with, you already know I'm going to publish a video about it. Okay, that's it for this one. If it was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to help even more, please consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube. You can also buy me a coffee. Thanks for watching. See you soon.